Hello and welcome to another Powercraft video. This is the start of me showing you my creations throughout the Powercraft mod. As you can see there is quite a few of them and there will soon be more. Um, the very first creation I've ever built with this um, mod, even when I first actually got it a while back in like 1.2.5, was I made a armor making machine, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is definitely easier than doing it in a normal crafting bench. All you have to do is toss in items and you get what you need. Now, the only problem with this is it's very hard to divide up what is what. You could, you know, make it like separate shoots. You can make like holes in the ground where the items fall and then go through so that you don't have to like automatic accidentally like throw it on the chest plate section or something like that. But, um... But yeah, I did it this way. This way is the easiest, and I think if you just throw it on there, you're not gonna miss it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make iron. We're gonna make diamond boots. So this requires four. So we're gonna hit Q four times, and it'll go in and do its thing, and we should get boots. And there they are. We're gonna do the same thing for everything. Leggings is seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that should go up, and we should get leggings. There we go. Chest plates eight. One, two, three, four. Whoop. Four, five, six, seven, eight. There, there's that. All right. And helmet is five. One, two, three, four, five. And we should get our helmet. And I'll show you how I build this in just one second. And there it is. We have full armor that I can put on, but I don't want to. Um, so here we go. I'm going to just destroy this top section that hides everything. Alright, basically how this works is each of these sections is a type of armor. For this section, it's boots, and when it comes to this, we tell all the types just to go to the right, and it splits it off into sections so that you can put it in separate crafting. So when this takes everything that I want for boots, which is the only type of armor besides chainmail, and you can't make that in game yet, so I didn't include that. But anyways, you put it, and it'll make push to the right, and it'll go down each of these. Um, Bit, or each of these automatic crafting tables and they each have um, a different uh, item into it. Holy cow. That scared me so much. Then it just popped up. What the heck? Why is he... What is he doing out here? That's weird. Alright. Um, so this goes... Basically just goes in. I'm going to just throw just pops in right there just collects it automatically and I'll output that and it'll come down here all right so the way it works is that only only if something of this if this item comes on the track it'll collect it it won't collect like say if I would need diamond it won't collect diamond that will get collected down there where the uh, diamond one is oops this is where the diamond it just yeah, so we don't have to collect any foreign items, which is nice. So this is for boots. When it comes up here for leggings, it'll go up here and it'll come out on this conveyor belt. I had to use um, brake belts or slow belts. Brake belts is only when redstone is applied. Slow belts is when it's not. Um, so I, I did this because the the way when it comes off the elevator, it comes off pretty quickly. So I don't want it skipping anything. So we got our pants or leggings in there. This is for your chest plate. Um, and then down here is for your helmet, right? Yeah, helmet. And this is the same basic principle as what happens over there. And after that, it just goes through this hole and puts on a speed belt and it outputs out here. So yeah.
I've got my sticky boots on right now so I don't slide anywhere. My next um, invention machine thing would be my um, chicken, mostly egg harvester, my hatchery, not really hatchery because I'm not hatching anything, but it's my egg, or my egg harvester basically, and I've got tons of eggs in here, um, but I've also got a chest for feathers and um, raw chicken because sometimes my chickens get caught up in the um, exit for the um, egg, so I was like, what the heck, let's just make use of this um, catch um, so, if you look down, it's just a big hole, and there's little chickens down there going around in circles, which is kind of funny, but, um, the way this works up here is I've got two chicken spawners. You don't need two, but, I mean, I could put four in here to make sure it's covered on all sides, so if, like, if I'm standing out here, the closest one will spawn chickens in still. So, just, if you're standing around it in different spots, it'll still work. So, the chickens spawn on this green thing here. And when they do, let's see if they do before the water comes down. No, it didn't. Okay, let's just wait. The chicken spawn. Oh, here we go. Chicken's on here. And um, and then water. Well, every 10 seconds, I think, water spawns up at the top. And it'll push the chicken off. Which is good. Because for some, they updated this to where that um, chickens won't walk. Like, you, before you could put a spawner and make a grid pattern with signs, um, you could make it, like, grass sign, grass sign, like a checkboard pattern. And what the mobs would think is that the signs were blocks and they'd walk over thinking they were blocks and fall through the holes. Well, that doesn't work now. The chickens will not walk at all. They just sit there. So, um, I devised this plan to... Um, make this little patch here with all these signs. Now, you don't have to use signs. I think you can just use blocks. But I use signs. So, chickens will spawn in the middle here and just sit around because they don't do anything. And then, every 10 seconds, water will spawn from the top and pour in. And, um, knock the chickens down into the hole. Now, sometimes, like this instance, no, not that instance, but chickens will sometimes stay on because the water would go out and go back in, if you know how water physics works. But the way things that work up here is I got a hole up here at the top where this replacer puts water. There we go. Put it in, and it immediately picks up the source block. So, put source block in, water goes down for one and a half seconds, and then source block is taken away and the water clears out. Um, this, ah, this is 15 seconds. Every 15 seconds, excuse me, every 15 seconds, it puts a source block in the hole for one and a half seconds, and then it takes the source block out, and then waits another 15 seconds, seconds and puts it in. So according to this, it's just negative one, negative one, negative one, it just puts in here, and we got a source block here. So that's it for this one. I'm going to put ourselves a little thing over that. And our next is farming. Now this is just kind of thrown together-ish. This just shows you the basic farming that can do. It can do nether wart, it can do pumpkins, melons, um, sugar cane, wheat. It can do cocoa beans. But um, when, for, here for instance, let me find um, cocoa beans. When you put cocoa beans up here, they spawn as a little baby whatever first stage cocoa plants but once they come big guys the harvester will take it away and um it'll put in the chest whatever but it takes away the whole thing so then we got bear tree so then we can't like we can't like keep redoing it you'd have to um get something almost to put it on there but right now um i tried it um the block builders will not replenish um not replenish the cocoa beans back on the trees um which is unfortunate and um i couldn't try it going it this way i guess i could if i turn the harvester off but harvesters work for 30 blocks meaning this is block one to 30 i wish you should be able to toggle that you should be able to right click your harvester and change how far it goes because i don't want to like if i take if i take this obsidian away it will take out all these signs which isn't good. Um, so, it needs to be able to be toggleable, I think. 
so that things will work better. So I don't have to make humongous farms or have to put this obsidian in the way. Because if you're playing on survival, who wants to get obsidian just in order to have this? I mean, that's not very fun. So, yeah, see, here we go. This uh, cocoa bean plant was just taken away. And there's the bear now. So um, it should work how they have wheat going. When wheat is harvest, it is the wheat and the seed is taken out. But I think, but the baby plant is still left there. What I think happens is um, maybe the, um, maybe when it harvests it, it takes, it leaves one seed. Is what I think it may happen. It leaves one seed so that it plants it. Or it just takes everything and just leaves the baby plant there. Um, with um, sugarcane, you're going to want to put the harvester above the first block. So you don't take away all the sugar cane and nothing spawns. Um, melons and uh, pumpkins is easy. You just put the harvester where the pumpkin or melon will pop out. And netherwort works like wheat. When netherwort, become, whenever netherwort is harvest, it leaves the baby netherwort so that it can still be regrown. Um, the same thing with cocoa beans is with the potatoes and carrots. When potatoes are harvest... Um, there's no more potatoes anymore. And when carrots are harvest, there's no more carrots anymore. As in, like, the plant's gone. So you have to replant it. But the thing is, is if you have 12 here, which is how many there's going to be. If you have 12 here, and it takes 12 potatoes out and puts it in here. And you're like, oh, well, I'll just tell it to replenish from that source. Well, one, you can't because um, if you want to replenish it with the... Um, block placer um i think that's what it's called anyways um you can't because it'll take things it'll take away conveyor belts so you can't put that into the into the block placer which is unfortunate um because the harvester goes so far that it just takes out the blocks and two um if if the harvester takes out 12 and there's tw if there's 12 plants and the harvester takes out 12 potatoes and then you can somehow, quote unquote, put it back. Um, it's just going to take the same 12 back out again. You know what I mean? You put 12 out, you put twelve back in here and it puts 12 down again. It's just going to take 12 more out, which doesn't make sense. So it's just a long cycle. So either they're going to update it or just leave it how it is. I don't know how, I don't know how actual potato and carrot plants work. Maybe they, um, maybe they all disappear. Maybe they don't. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah that's it for this um machine and that'll be it for this video we have tons more to go um and you know it only goes so far but i'll be making lots more soon and you'll just you know you'll be like dude this is awesome i can build this in mine or you can compete with me and be like dude i'm gonna make that smaller than yours and make it more simpler whatever um just have fun with it it's a great mod um you can do tons of stuff with it uh, I'll see you next mod, uh, mod, no, I'm not going to call this a showcase, because it's a special thing, it's like a, it's like a mod, bleh. that's it, mod, bleh. perfect name, see you guys.